Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to the lands of Westeros, right here in the Realm of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Now, if you could not already tell, we are here today to introduce yet another original character that I made way back in 2014 when I first started watching Game of Thrones. So allow me to introduce you to the one and only Lord Stefan of House Tanner. Now this guy, I uh, inadvertently made him kind of look like Qui-Gon Jinn, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the sigil, the sigil is pretty floaty on the banner, but on the shield, it looks good. It looks really good, lads. And so does our man, he really does look like uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. Very, very nice. Now I have two things to discuss before I jump into the, uh, the background lore and the build of our newest character. Number one being this will end up taking place or taking over as our main series on the channel for the time being. Um, not to say that any of the other series that we've done are like done and finished like the House Stone one or the House Vortiger one or so on and so forth. But that this one kind of jumped out at me and was like, hey, you need to do this. And of course, it is the beginning of spring now. So the spring storms will be crashing down upon us pretty soon down here in the south. And what better way than to, uh, you know, kick off a series in the Stormlands than right here in the middle of the, uh, the stormy months of spring. So, this will be our main series from here on out. Um, and of course, we will be returning to our previous series to finish those up in time. But, for now, our focus is here in the Stormlands. And the second thing I want to discuss is that, yes, our character is pretty, uh, pretty already well outfitted. And that is because I made this video already, and then somewhere along the way in editing, something happened, and it just deleted, like, 90% of my files. Uh, including, like, my sound effects, which really sucked, so I'm not gonna have many sound effects to utilize in our videos from here on out. At least not until I go and find them. But yes, yeah, so, like, a whole hour and a half worth of footage has been cut. So my intention is to jump back into the adventure here and just do the roleplay all over again and just start from right where we are now. So, yes, this is our man. This is Lord Stefan of House Tanner. He does look really good. I love his nose and his features. And uh, even just the, the light stubble of hair just looks so good, especially with a scar. And then, of course, he's, uh, you know, he's kind of like a, a light brown haired man with a uh, with nice blue eyes very stormlander indeed i think uh but he man he just looks good and then you put the armor on him yeah yeah he looks good very uh very stormlander indeed i love it so this is lord stefan of house tana in my head canon when i created this character he was already a well-established lord within the stormlands his father served with Robert Baratheon in his rebellion, while Stefan was still just a, uh, a young lad. But then, of course, over the course of the past 17 years, now he has taken over his father's house with his father's death, unfortunately. In my headcanon, in the lore for the background of our character, they come from a holding a castle known as the Storm Forge, uh, where they mass-produced weapons and armor for the Stormlander soldiers and the warriors and whatnot. Now, Stefan's father, Lord Ormond Tanner, always used to tell stories saying that it was from his forge with his hands and that the hammer that would slay Prince Rhaegar Targaryen on the trident was made by the Lord Ormond himself. But of course, Lord uh, Stefan always knew his father was full of shit. So, <laughs> so here we are, lads. Uh, we did kind of get ourselves up pretty decently over the hour and a half that I lost. Uh, so we're almost eligible to become a mercenary, which is not bad. We don't have any companions with us, and we are starting off pretty uh, pretty low level, pretty small. Uh, nothing super crazy as far as stats go either, um, but obviously with a major focus on two-handed weaponry so that we can utilize uh, the two-handed sledgehammers they have in this game, which I'm absolutely ready for. Now I will say I have been re-watching Game of Thrones with the Queen, and... Uh, Season 2 just finished. We just finished Season 2. And I just love, love, love seeing King Renly Baratheon. And I know he is not first in line for the throne. He is not uh, first in line for the crown. And yet, every single one of the Lords of the Stormlands would have chosen him to be their king nonetheless. They would have seen this boy and said, You may not be first in line. You may not be the rightful king. But you are the king that we chose. And they all banded together to put a crown upon his head nonetheless. 
And that right there is the sole purpose of our video for today, of our series as a whole. Um, because I did some more research, there are in fact more bookmark events that happen the further you get into the game. And around day 136, it's like 34 or 36, um, the pop-up comes up that uh, Stannis Baratheon has teamed up with a Red Priestess to use Dark Magic to win the Iron Throne. After that, you have a couple of days in order to try and save Renly Baratheon by killing uh, Lord Stannis. And that right there, lads, is the sole purpose of our series. Can we save King Renly Baratheon, the king that we chose, and can we help ascend him to the Iron Throne of King's Landing? Can we do it, lads? We have 136 days to make that shit happen. But of course, as the battles and the wars rage on in the days to come, we will not be attempting this task alone. We will have the loyal men of House Tanner fighting at our side. So... The concept of our military setup here is that we are, in fact, uh, almost like a guild of craftsmen and artisans and, uh, and smiths, basically, who come from the, the Storm Forge. Um, doesn't actually exist. It's, you know, part of the headcanon. That's like our castle holding, basically. Um, but these men, these, uh, these master craftsmen and whatnot, they come with us from the Stormforge and, uh, in order to raise themselves up through the ranks of the military and become proper soldiers of the Stormlands so that they can serve us as the Lords of House Tanna and that we can serve King Renly Baratheon of the Stormlands. So, for our basic units, we do have the Hammerman. Uh, these guys, again, li literally just clad in leather because they, they're fresh from the forge. They just got done, like, crafting weapons or whatever. And they're like, you know what, let me take up arms for my liege lord and for my king. And so they, they are quite literally equipped with just a blacksmith's hammer and a, uh, a small heater shield. Um, but nonetheless, they will charge out there. Uh, one thing I also want to point out real quick is that our character, Stefan Tanner, is not an accomplished military leader just yet. He is very much, you know, fresh from the forge himself. So as we start to go out into combat and everything, many of our men will die. And it's not so much like, oh, go in there and give your lives because I'm your lord and I say so. It's more so like, we have this task we need to accomplish and it's going to take our lives to do it. And we need to be we need to be willing to give our lives willingly in order to see this task complete. And so he will be sending a lot of his troops out, like just issuing full charge orders and, you know, just dealing out massive amounts of damage, high yield damage and everything like that. So from the Hammer Man, we have the Forge Man. It's supposed to be man, not men. Uh, a little more medium armored uh and kind of properly outfitted, or a little better outfitted, I suppose, for actual combat and warfare. Not so much just fresh out the forge kind of blacksmiths and whatever, but these are our forgemen. Now, the number of uh, one-handed hammers are pretty limited, so now they have, like, spiked maces to kind of, you know, give that same effect. Because the blunt damage and everything like that. And then from the Forge Man, you can become a proper Storm Soldier. This is essentially House Tanner's take on uh, what a, a proper soldier of the Stormlands would look like. What we could accomplish as our proper swordsman or proper soldier and everything like that. So these are our basic men at arms, our militiamen essentially. Uh, it is a, a pretty decent mix of, uh, of modded and vanilla armors. Uh, I think he looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. And from here, our military splits into two different sets, uh, two different prongs, if you will. We have the Storm Captain, very nice. They've got this, uh, this nice Dragonstone helmet kind of vibe going on. Pretty heavily armored. Really, really not bad. But from the Storm Captain, we have our Storm Lord, our Heavy Infantry Shock Troopers. These guys are going to be pretty uh, effective both in a shield wall, against cavalry, and then dealing out high yield damage with the two-handed sledgehammer. But if you find better company among the horses in the stables, a storm soldier can become a storm rider. A little more lightly armored, and they, they do have this really schnazzy Baratheon helmet, uh, but lightly armored so that they can increase their speed while they're off on the, uh, the field of battle and whatnot. And then of course from the storm rider, we have the storm charger. A little more heavily armored. I love the uh, the Baratheon helmet with the uh, like the male coif. 
I think it makes them look pretty uh pretty decent. They're nice and bulky without being like super weighed down either. So pretty cool. I really enjoy how these guys look. And now onto our ranged side. Now the ranged units are named in a way that kind of reflects the uh, the growth stages of a uh, of an actual stag like the animal. So at the very beginning we have a fawn or a fawn man. So uh, all padded leather armor and then uh, just a, a bow and, a, and an infantry axe. Nothing super crazy. And from the fawn, a stag would grow into a yearling. So now we have a yearling. Uh, a little more heavily armored, but the weaponry basically stays the same. And then from the yearling, we have a spiker. This is exactly what they're called. From a yearling, they grow into what's called a spiker. So an adolescent stag, essentially, or like a teenager stag. Now this time I did go with a uh, another you know crossbowman unit. I couldn't help myself, lads. Really couldn't. And then lastly we have our forked buck. Now same same dealio. This is exactly what they're called uh, when they they grow up from a yearling to a spiker to a forked buck. Uh, so now we have our forked buck. This time with a uh, two-handed short bill, so that once they run out of ammunition, we issue the charge order. They whip out that 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 curved axe basically, and they they just deal massive amounts of damage. And now finally onto our noble units, we have at the very start uh, our apprentice Tanners. Now, for those of you who have played Skyrim, you know what a tanner does. It's how you make leather out of like animal hides and pelts, essentially. So this is our Tana. Uh, I did give him like I wanted to give him like a like a fur cloak or like pelt for the shoulder armor, but I was like, nah, the, it, the vibe just was kind of off in my opinion. Uh, but they do have the leather uh, padded leather shirt, which is pretty on brand for being an apprentice Tanner and everything like that. And uh, you'll notice I did kind of shift the focus away from like achieving knighthood because I know that most of our noble units start off with like the knight squire or the house squire and then the house page, so on and so forth. But our task is not so much to achieve knighthood, it's more so to increase our battlefield prowess so that we can better serve our liege lord, our king, and our country. So from the apprentice Tana, we have the elite blacksmith. Now these guys are pretty much clad in, uh, in a lot of Dragonstone armor, but I think they look really, really good as well. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the black is pretty uh, is actually pretty intimidating. 100% uh, it is. But from the elite blacksmith, we have the Forge Master with this uh, this Dragonstone armor with the cloak and everything. Ah, it just looks so brilliant. I'm actually in love with how these uh, these custom characters came out. Now from here on out, this is what I would like to call the prong. Or the, uh, you know, the prong of the antler. It kind of looks like an upside down antler of our uh, our military units and everything. So I did want to add at least one high tier noble archer unit. So we have our storm stag. Now these lads will basically be manning the garrisons and uh, manning the walls during siege battles. Launching their, uh, their crossbow bolts down into the waves of enemies. And then should the uh the assaulters make it up the walls on their ladders or their siege towers they will whip out this big ass dragonstone elite halberd and dish out the king's justice super cool but uh if you know manning the garrisons and the walls is not your forte and you would like to be out in the thick of it in the battle sallying out onto the field of battle with the enemy just right out in front of you as bloody as you like you can turn into a Stormforged Knight instead. Now, same basic setup as uh, as the the Storm Stag and everything, but this time, of course, the two-handed Sledgehammer. I was debating giving them Robert Baratheon's hammer because you can give your custom units uh, like noble weapons, you know. Uh, for the House Black series of our our Northern series, uh, a lot of our high tier troops do have uh, ice, which is ned stark's uh two-handed valyrian steel sword i think it looks pretty menacing it's actually going to be really cool once we once we get to it but i will not be introducing our northern faction until the winter comes you know so we will be able to get that going in short time now from the stormforge knight you can turn into a black forge knight i've only named these guys black forge because of our uh because of our banner our sigil is the black hammer and anvil which is our black forge so our Black Forge Knight, the only difference here is that they have Renly Baratheon's cloak and shoulder armor, which I think is really badass. 
And then lastly, we have our Black Forge Stag Champion. These are our mounted units. Again, uh, rather than like a two-handed hammer this time, I gave them the Valarian Axe because it does come from the Dragonstone culture, uh, which is fine, honestly. I, and I think it's a pretty decent looking axe. I think it's going to be pretty badass to watch. And the uh, the helmet this time has the uh, the little like stag antlers on the full helmet. So it, it looks pretty badass. I want to go for this look. Like, absolutely, I want to go for this look. But anyway, lads. And our adventure begins here on the Isle of Tarth, where the one and only King Renly Baratheon himself has sought us out and said, Hey, your father and my father, they fought well together side by side, and I would like you to join me, but you must first raise yourself and prove yourself to the people of my realm. Only then may you truly be able to, uh, to serve me properly, first as a mercenary, and then once you defeat my enemies for me, I will raise you into vassalage, and we will grant you lands within the Stormlands. And I'm like, you know what? Fine, I can do that. So Renly Baratheon is here with his bannermen and to sell me, and they have come to seek me out for the purpose of dishing out the king's justice upon the realm. Now, the, uh, the Stormlands under King Renly are in fact at war with Dragonstone currently. Um... I can't really tell if they're doing a good job or not, and I don't really care. Um, now, when I, you know, first recorded this episode, I did come and talk to King Renly. Yes, yeah, Stefan, it's been a while. So then, what is it? Uh, for starters, there's an opportunity to marry into the family. Um, my own hand for Sandy. Uh, Sandy is a member of the Baratheon Renly, a noble family of the Stormlands. Uh, I don't know who the hell Sandy Baratheon is, but Sandy, bro, like, that's pretty cool. She's got pretty decent stewardship skills, so I, I definitely tried to, uh, marry her, but, yeah, I'm too, I'm way too broke to be able to afford that right now. So, I gotta leave, sorry. Anyway, thank you, your grace, for coming to see me. I, I, I really need to work on my roleplay voice for, uh, for this series. I don't know what kind of voice I want to use, if I'm being honest. So we do have some pretty decent gear right off the bat. Uh, we are still wearing our Slaven, Slaven leather, sorry, uh, because, you know, we worked as a blacksmith before. I have no intentions on actually utilizing blacksmithing unless you guys want me to. I will definitely do that, but that's not the whole purpose of our, our playthrough here. So here we are, Lord Stefan. Uh, he does have a sledgehammer. I won the black heart in a tournament recently. Um, but I kind of don't want to use it. You know, I know it's better than my my hammer, but I love using the hammer, man. And I, I know it doesn't really matter because it's, you know, it's all about, like, the skills and whatnot. But I love, I just love this hammer, dude. And eventually, I absolutely plan on getting uh, that two-handed sledgehammer as well. Hopefully at some point, lads. But for right now, it does not seem like it's uh, an option for us, which is fine, I suppose. But anyway. Now, we are pretty, uh, uh, what's it called? Infantry heavy <laughs> this time around. So, this is going to be a very interesting indeed. A lot of our men will die. But the goal is, uh, to try and get Gendry Baratheon as a companion. The goal is to try and get Brienne of Tarth as a companion. Because who better to serve, uh, the loyal bannerman of House Baratheon than, uh, than King Renly's King's God herself? That would be pretty interesting. But anyway, now we're out here just hunting down bandits until we can level ourselves up. Also, I have been watching uh, Shadow Fighter Pro's uh, Surging Storm series, where he plays as a Stormlander as well. Huge fan of the series. If you guys want to watch, uh, I will have his full playlist linked in the description below, so you can go and watch it. Um, him and obviously Season 2 of Game of Thrones has been a huge inspiration for this build. Which is why I'm so adamant about actually playing this one out and uh, doing like a full-blown series for you guys. So, let us fight off some bandits in the name of our King Renly Baratheon, the chosen king of the Stormlands. Nice, we have the one knight, bro. That's amazing. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Alright. Uh, I didn't check to see if they have any uh, rangers, so... But I don't really care either. Oh, hold on. Let me do this bad boy. Cavalry! Everyone kill them all! 
All right, let's go, lads. How about them? I think they have like four, four rangers. Yeah. Go on, lads. Let's take the bastards. Hiya! I went right over their heads. Love that. Hiya! There we go. Oh my god. Come on! Look at that. We're just knocking them over. It's crazy. Come on, you bastards. Ooh. Come on. Dodge and weave, lads. Dodge and weave. Yeet! Oh, I went right over his head. Look at that. I knocked his ass down. Ah. Oh. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, lads. Not bad. Good old Qui-Gon Jin. Look at that motherfucker. That's crazy. Hold on. Yeah, look at that motherfucker. Fucking Qui-Gon Jin knows and everything. Yeah, what a badass. But look at that. Here's some of our hammermen. Uh, our storm soldiers. Yeah, the forge masters. Elite blacksmiths. Yeah, look at the storm forge knight. Ah. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. Yeah, very not bad indeed, lads. Well fought, men of House Tana. Didn't lose a single man that time. Not bad. Yeah, the, fir the first uh, hour and a half that I lost of footage, I definitely, uh, I definitely lost a lot of men. Especially to the Kingswood Outlaws, those little bastards. Which sucked. All right, we return to the mainland. Ah, oh, Haystack Hall is under siege. No, most likely by Stannis. Yeah, Adrian Keltiga. Yeah, Dragonstone. Damn. Yeah, the war is going on without us, lads. We need to speed this up and jump in here as a mercenary as quickly as possible. Where are we at? We need seven more renown, which is not bad. I would also very much like to get a uh, warlord. So we need to start leveling up our charm as well. Yeah, 30% influence gain. Ah, uh, well, that, that's not going to help us out at all. <laughs> Might have to return to Storm's End, drop off our prisoners and our loot, because we're way too slow. It also doesn't help that I only have one cavalry. Yeah. Our Selwyn Tarth, yes, my lord. He's starting, uh, he created an army. Yeah, let's go to the arena. We might as well, since we're here. Another Blackheart, are you serious? Ugh. Whatever, dude. Whatever. If we can win this one, we'll probably sell this Blackheart. Or we can keep it in case we get companions at some point. Which would be interesting. Also, you guys let me know if you want to uh, if you want to utilize the uh, the troops that turn into companions. Or if you want to do like actual in-game companions. Because I would really love to have Gendry and uh, Brienne of Tarth as, uh, as companions. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Alright. Let's bet on this tourney and jump in here. I was like, where the hell? Damn. There we go. Ooh, Donald Swan down. There's only two of us left. Is this my man? No, it's not. There we go. I'm glad they gave me a two-handed weapon. My god. Oh, look at this man. Bryce Karen. Ooh. Oh, is that my man? can't tell. Yes, that was my man. Ooh. Hold on. I'm not good at riding, but maybe I can take the fight to the bastard. Oh, he lanced me. Am I in it? I'm still in it. Thank God. Woo. All right. That's fine. Oh, I'm so bad at horseback riding <laughs> and just about everything on horseback. This is sad. Unfortunate turn of events this is. Stab. Ugh, bastard. Stab. Ooh, not bad. We just can't be the first ones down, you know? Ugh, oh, my god. 
I'm the only one left of my fucking squad. That's awful. Nice. Let's go. Oh. oh, he almost had me. Yeah, I don't really intend on becoming another, like, mounted lance or anything like that. You know, not since the, uh, the House Veil vale series, or the House Stone of the Veil. Vale. But, ah, damn it. Bastard. Go ahead, get some distance. And now, now I shall chase. Now couch, couch, couch. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Not bad. Whew. Yeah, not, not bad for a, a piss poor horseman, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Yes, there we go. Just a uh, melee on foot. Enough of this nonsense. Wide swings, baby. Come on. There we go. Not bad. Yeah, very nice. All right, in the finale, it's us and a Stormlands Knight. Oh, God. This seems a bit unfair, in my opinion. But all right. Couch, Lance, couch, Lance, couch, Lance. Oh, fucking All right, get some distance. Now let's go. Couch, 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 couch. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, nice. We got him. Fuck yeah. Woo. Not bad, lads. Yeah, not bad. Our banner looks so good, man. Super cool. Super cool. We gained three renown, so now we only need four, I believe, uh, until we can become a, uh, a proper mercenary of, uh, of King Renly Baratheon. Yeah, now we have two black hearts. I think that's interesting. Um, I might actually go for using one of these for now. I'll hold on to the sledgehammer just in case, but then I'll, I'll sell this other one. I don't believe there's any better armor. I can get a helmet, but I, I'm not really interested in getting a helmet right off the bat. Uh, we've got some pretty decent Stormland shoulders that we found. Yeah, we're nearly there, lads. We need four more renown. Yep. Not bad. So let us go find like a quest to kill some bandits, or we could just go kill some bandits anyway. Like there's some five or fifteen broken men here. Our speed is seven point one now. Yeah, not bad. We're gonna fight the bastards. Come on. This is our defining moment, lads. Allow us now to prove our worth to our liege lord and to our king, our chosen king, Renly. Under my orders! To hell with birthrights. He is the king that we chose. Everyone, attack! Let's go, boys. Infantry! Up arrow! Backs to each other! Footmen! Archers! Form a steel wall! Stand apart! Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. Sergeants, take command! That's not what I meant to do. Bowman! There we go. Advance! I wanted them to engage, not to... You know, that way they're in skirmisher mode. If the enemy gets too close, they'll back up. They'll, like, run away and then keep shooting, you know? That's what I meant to do. Oi. Yeah, look at these mad lads. We do have five archers, but I'm not entirely worried about it. Rider! Let's get our rider Charge! after that, uh, yeah, after those archers. Distract the archers for us, lad. And we shall engage with the infantry. Yeah, see, look at them. They're gonna, they're gonna retreat from the, the advancing infantry. Oh, that's my man. Sorry, dude. I almost, I almost took that boy's head off. Would have been a really bad day for him, hey, eh, lads? Chop! Ah, uh, I missed my hammer already. This is awful. Yeah, I, I regret everything. I missed my hammer. The swing speed is so low on this. For what reason? Oh, dodge and weave, lads. Dodge and weave. Don't run at them in a straight line. And yeah, don't give them an easy shot. My men with all their throwing spears. Oh, my God. Brilliantly done, lads. All right, only two more remain. Cut them down in the name of your king. Oh, for the glory of House Tanner. Yeah, very nice. Well fought, lads. 
Yeah, look at this Black Forge stag champion, dude. Not bad. Oh, his poor horse. It's so sad. Anyway, very well fought, brothers. How much renown did we get? 1.4. <laughs> right. I'll take that. I'll take 1.4. That's fine. Maybe we should head out uh, further west. Because then, maybe then, we can get some uh, some large parties of like... Uh, legendary simple commoner spear. Not bad. Might hold on to that one. But yeah, that way we can go and fight large parties of like pirates and everything. Pirates are going to give us some, some good loot and some good gear and some good renown. Finally. Jesus. I, I could like barely find anybody. I'm over here just like walking around and there's nothing happening. Oh, Marin Trent. You fucking cunt. Osmond Kettleback. Let's see who's here. Geralt Cole. Interesting. Of House Cole. He's a crown lander. Interesting. And then Lord Peter Baelish. Aha. I don't want you in anywhere near me, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Feel free to stay far the fuck away from me, big dog. Pretty please. Yeah, these people don't have fucking anything either. Uh, I am going to just sell all this gear, I think. I'm honestly not too worried about it. Aha, some Kingswood Outlaws. Oh, a good number of them. Very nice. This could be our moment, lads. Hey, you. What you got in your bags? What are you carrying? That is none of your concern, brigand. As a matter of fact, I feel your death at my hands may raise myself into the ranks of nobility. Fight me now if you dare, and add your lives to my legacy. Ah, uh, you'll regret that answer. Eh, probably. Even with your 40 men, you're no match for the 25 men of House Tanner. We have strength in arms, lads. The house words of House Tana. This is uh, this was brought to us by a, a couple of uh, of commenters during our, our most recent poll. But House Tana, our house words are as the anvil stand and as the hammer strike. So it kind of alludes to like standing strong, standing firm as the hammer or as the anvil, and then striking hard as the hammer. You know what I'm saying? As the anvil stand, as the hammer strike hard. Charge! Nice, our Storm Stag already getting some kills, man. Black Forge Stag Champion, fuck yeah, dude. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Hold on. Hi, yeah. Damn, dude. I'm ass. Aya, I said. There we go. Much better. Aya. Aya. Let's go, dude. My God. Come on, stand firm, lads. Strike them hard. Hiya! Yeah, see, knocking them down with the sledgehammer. I got shot in the fucking face, man. That's crazy. Immediately just blasted my ass. Oh, man. No, my Stormforge Knights, my Storm Captains. No! I lost seven men. Two Hammermen, two Knights, a Storm Captain, one of my Black Forge Stag Champions, and, a, and an Apprentice Tanner. Damn, dude. They gave us seven renown, though, so... Oh, at least we're a uh, a clan tier one now. So at least there's that. Hey, crap, bastards. All right, all right. All right. All right, lads. Now we head back south to Storm's End. Very nice. All right, so I didn't realize, but Renly Baratheon is actually at Haystack Hall, laying siege to our house fell. So... Now that we have our full party of 500, or 50 men, 55 men, sorry. Not 500, but 55 men. I can't even talk to him yet? Ah, that's stupid. All right, hold on. Let me pull off to the side here. Let me see if I can't send a raven. And we shall wait here. Lovely, it's arrived. Perfect. 
the raven lands in his in his uh, siege camp and it's like i wish to see speak with you outside of the siege your grace please stefan it's been a while so then what is it uh there is something i'd like to discuss with you your grace hmm you have piqued my interest what do you have what do you have to say almost said what do you have for me um your grace i would like to enter your service I see. And how would you serve us? My sword is yours, your grace, so long as you're able to compensate my men for their time and their allegiance. Ah, so your men want some mercenary work, eh? Well, we are glad to take fighters, whatever they seek glory, whether they seek glory or gold. If you fight for us, you will receive 170 gold whenever you defeat a party of enemies or for any other significant deed. Uh... Of course, Your Grace, I accept. Good. I'll have my men write up a simple contract. On behalf of the Stormlands, I welcome you. May you put your sword to good use against our enemies. You can count on me, Your Grace. As of now, your enemies are my enemies, and your honor is my honor. Very well. Is there anything else? Uh... Are you going to let me marry... Sandy? I guess not. Never mind. Almost. I feel like we're getting closer, lads. I don't even know who she is, but I would love to marry into uh, uh, Renly Baratheon's family. That would be amazing. Anyway, Haystack Hall is under siege. There's 787 men here. That's crazy. Oh, we're mad fast now. Very cool, lads. Anyway, lads, it is right here in the shadow of Storm's End where we will leave today's episode. Uh... What day is it, actually? Hold on. All right. Currently, it is day 31, which means we've got just about 100 days to try and save uh, King Renly's life, lads. I believe it can be done. I believe we can truly do it. And now that we are a mercenary, we are one step closer to being able to accomplish that very task. But until next episode, lads, always remember, honor and service glory and sacrifice and of course as the anvil stand and as the hammer strike and i your lord commander will see you in the battles ahead goodbye my stormlanders